G'day! Welcome back to Minecraft Down Under! This is episode 15! So guys, last, well, last couple episodes, we, we've been doing pretty well. Uh, last episode, I got in big trouble with the missus. Uh, may have stayed up all night trying to get more and more of this build done. There, there was a, there was some compromises last episode. Yes, before you ask, I have not paid those uh, those promises I've done yet, but they're coming. I, I will. Uh, that's to Venom. I, I definitely will pay those promises. But um, yeah, getting stuff done last episode. We started on the towers on both sides here. Uh, the episode before that, we kid we got some free McNuggets. Oh, jeez, guys, the playlist is in the description below. If you've missed an episode, if you've missed an episode, playlist is always in the description. It, it'll catch you up good. But yeah, the towers are coming together. This is the towers on the side. Remember, they've got to go double, probably double to triple that height. All four corners. Um, we were experimenting with uh, the that the, the the crying obsidian. That's what it's called. Um, yeah, that's look. That looks really nice, by the way. Um, somebody said less is more. I, I, I read the all oh, read all the comments. Oh, guys, some amazing names. People have su suggested uh, some amazing names. I think uh, Burn Manor was. I think it was one of them. Um, <laughs> Yeah, th there was a couple of good ones. I've wrote them down anyway. Remember, if you got a suggestion for this dark themed castle slash, uh, yeah, I don't even know what to call it, but it's a Mega Mansion Castle thing of doom. Uh, it's all dark, lava, etc., etc. Make sure you put them in the comments below because I'm very interested to come up. So we've already we named our Nether Hub Lava Lake Inn, and it's perfect. But yeah. Okay, alright, alright, come on, we need to jump into things. We're taking a break of building this, and uh, we got a super chat. It's Justino, thank you very much for sponsoring and supporting the episode, mate. He says, missed the last couple of streams, was at work. Oh, that's no no good, mate. You can always catch up, as I was saying, the link's in the description below to the playlist, uh, so you can get caught up nice and quick. Alright, so, yeah, as I was saying, we worked on the base last uh, episode, so I think this episode we need to give this a break and get working on some gold farm. Yes, uh, we talked a little bit about the gold farm last episode. So eventually, okay, so here's my plan. Ready for my plan? So eventually I want to build a overworld gold farm using uh, giant nether portals. Uh, due to the fact is they're back in style now, apparently... Apparently, the last couple of a couple of massive updates to Minecraft, you know, Nether Gold Farms have been quite crap. But with like turtle eggs and um, all all the changes that's that's currently happened, uh, you know, Nether Portal Gold Farms are back in fashion. So I thought, perfect. Now the problem is getting all that obsidian. There is no such thing as obsidian generators anymore. They patched that ages ago. So I was trying to tr barter for them. Yeah, because I can get Crying Obsidian, Norther Obsidian. So I need to trade all my gold for Obsidian. So then I don't really have a gold farm to trade for the... Yeah, you get what I'm trying to go with that? So I figure now it's time to go into the nether. And go to the roof. Start a small style gold farm. And we'll build off of that. And then later on we'll build maybe an overworld gold farm. Only because when we build iron farms and gold farms and stuff out here, we want to be storing it, you know? Storing it all up in massive, massive silos so we have millions of gold by the end of the season, you know? It'd be bloody awesome. And since we do most of the work on the overworld here, uh, yeah, the gold farm really deserves to be out here, but we'll have one going in the nether. Okay, well, enough, enough talking. Let's get into it. So first things first... I got a tip, apparently the magma blocks are the best to build these new, the, the regular platforms on, due to the fact that only pigmen can spawn on them, apparently. Um, that's obviously great news, so what I did earlier, I logged into the, to the world here, and I did a little bit of farming, not too much, grabbed some magma blocks, but I think what we need to do is, um, uh, whoa, jeez, uh, what we need to do is we need to obviously uh, um, stay alive first. Now, where did I put that chest? Yeah, yeah, nick off, mate. I'm, I'm not in the mood for this. Just, just nick off. All right. So just kill, you know, kill your way through here. Make sure you don't take too much damage. I've got a chest out here. 
because I was farming the magma blocks. As I was saying, when I got rudely interrupted. See, look, I got a few. As I said, I don't have too many, but we'll take those take those up. See these giant, the, the holes here? Yeah, it's not actually that hard to farm this stuff up. Oh, there's still stum down here. Whoopsie daisy. Hang on, grabbing, grabbing, grabbing some of this. Yeah, it's not all that hard to farm it up. You just gotta watch out for those lava pockets like those there kind of scary but look how deep this goes that was just one pocket of these bloody magma blocks so all right so we got the magma blocks let's get out of here now back 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 to the overworld um we need some building material but what we'll do first is we won't build the pads first all right guys i think everyone's like we'll build the pads first no um i think i learned from my lesson the first time let's build the killing mechanism first yes i think that would probably be bet best so let's get all this stuff out there and then we'll try to come up with a killing i reckon maybe minecarts because we can get the xp if we use minecarts to kill them i don't have access to wither wither roses apparently they're really good to kill mobs too um there's multiple ways just drop fall like there's so many ways we could do this guys um, alright, so we need some ladders, check, let's, let's bring a good three stacks out, done, alright, got, got some ladders, um, some rough building materials, I think obviously we're still using our, um, stone, let's, let's take the slabs here, um, we'll grab some stone bricks probably, yep, that would, that'll do just to get us started, some scaffold, yeah, I, th I think I gotta, I think I gotta take some chests out there, where are some spare chests, okay, all right, let's bring six chests out for this project, and we'll leave that behind. There we go. Let's go choose the the best spot for this gold farm. So we're heading out to our sky portal. Now the sky portal is literally um, our sky portal gives us access to our nether roof, um, which we got access to the roof of the nether very early on in the series, and built ourselves an you know a pork pork chop and leather machine of doom which you can uh, go check that out uh, showcase video out already that is already up but um yeah so with this sky portal i couldn't move it any closer because it was way out in the water and you had to row out there and find it but i moved it as close as i could now due to the due to the other portal being just there i was having really weird issues like going through one portal coming out another it just wasn't working so I, this is why i moved it this far because i tried my best to put the portal there so you can see where i've tried see the dug up dirt on top of that mound i thought having a having the portal there and then having uh the sky portal there uh was close to each other was going to be great but no minecraft just just didn't wasn't wasn't taking it so i'm like fine be like that <laughs> and I moved it one back, which was this little island here, and it worked just like, it worked like a charm, worked perfectly, so, yeah, all right, now, up, up, up we go, yeah, now we're gonna need tons of gold for bartering, and we're gonna build some bartering machine of doom that's gonna produce ridiculous amounts, all right, now, we're on top of the nether, now, when choosing a spot, for this gold farm uh especially for the people that do follow my builds somebody did the biggest mistake in the last build uh that that i did and that was they built it in the wrong biome so remember how we built the bacon factory which is just down here i will get in range of it hopefully in a second it was our very first project of the of the season and it, it looks pretty and hopefully we'll make this one look pretty too uh, eventually um we'll build it probably the halfway point around here is looking good to me to be honest with you see and it's coming up now there you go boom boom she's sort of loading up in the distance don't want to build it too close to the farm um, but close enough if you know what i mean there you go that there is a bake uh, literally bacon and, and leather literally factory it pumps out thousands like hoppers can't even keep up so apparently somebody was following home and building exactly the same thing but they forgot that you had to build it in a um what's biome <laughs> it's built in a pacific biome and uh same with this farm 
this farm that we're just about to build, do not build it in, you know, that the wet, you know how the sky changes colour or, or you get the ash fall. Um, yeah, you get that ash fall that, um, I forgot what biome that is, but don't build in that because you will get magma cube spawns. We don't want magma cube spawns, do we? We sort of want a red sky. That means we're in a regular biome and we're going to get regular pigmen. That's what we want, right? So maybe off to the side. I can see that. I can see the portal. And the sky's not changing. That's exactly what I want. So maybe over these mushrooms here. Perfect. All right. So I'll put a torch down. Boom. I could just, just catch out our other farm. And I could just see the portal in the background. I think that's perfect. So what I'm going to do first is make double make sure... Uh, we're building one giant pad in one of the directions, so just run around, make sure the sky doesn't change uh, color. You can use your F3 menu to, to you know see what biome you're in, but you could just really look at the sky. It, it changes colors for what 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 biomes you technically in. And a blue sky biome would be the Watsi Forest one, and and the and the ash red one would be the the. But it looks like it's all the same. I'm running around like a pork chop, making myself look look silly. <laughs> but this seems to be perfect right here. Not over there. That is the 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 Watsi biome. So now that we've got an established area, go ahead and set up our chests. Yes, can't believe we're starting another project already. Um, throw our pad on there, no problem. Get some building materials now. We're gonna bring up our F3 menu. Um, yeah, see the, the wire access, we are literally going to be going straight up to about, I would say, 130, 120, 130, something like that, um, just, just, yeah, okay, alright, so, alright, about, about where the torch is, is fine, and then just literally go, go up, yeah, literally go straight up, and we want to go to, um, as I said, about 2.30, probably. And then we're going to put the ladder in, all right? Just try your best not to fall off. Not yet, anyway. No splatitude. Just watching those numbers go up. But we want nice, decent distance. Now, remember the other farm that we, we built at block... Um, we block 20... Uh, no, block, block 200, sorry. Remember block we built at block 200? Uh, that farm. Oh, it's gone. Our farm's gone. No. Uh, we built at block two, 200. But that's because that was the bottom of the farm. We looked up and we built up. But this farm's going to be sort of flat, right? It's going to be all flat. So we don't need to build up, right? So that's why I thought it like a higher point is probably better. Further away from that nether roof and other spawns, the better. And um, if we use a splat pad design, then that will be better. So about 220, we're at 220. We've got 30 blocks to muck around. We're very high, as you can see. And this would be it. This is the start of something. So i got slabs here. Um, I figured it'd be perfect to, be able to start with some slabs. So go ahead and... Well, actually, we'll start some full blocks. What am I doing? Go ahead and just sort of build a little pad up here. Just sort of to get us started. Perfect. Done. Alright. Break that. Alright. Now put the ladder in. It's quite easy. Just sort of fall down the hole and click on the wall. Um, so what you're going to do is just lay up a couple of ladders. Fall, like go down the ladders now. Don't touch your keys. Just use your mouse. So do not touch your keys at all. Just use your mouse to right click. And place these these in to slow you down. That's all you need to do. Boom. Look. See? Smooth as a baby's bottom. That doesn't really look smooth. But that's now you get to go up. Okay? <laughs> you get to literally go up now. Um, that was just to make sure that we could go up and down nice and smoothly. And there we go. See? We started, we started something new. I'm quite excited. A little bit nervous. I'm going to wing this. Um, the tips are, apparently magma blocks are uh, all the craze to be building these pads out of. Because the zombie pigmen, actually they changed the name. They've changed the bloody name. Um, the, the zombie pigmen's like spawn on the, that. And they're going to be giving us all the gold. All that gold which we're going to be sending directly into bartering system. And then we'll barter a butt ton of stuff like fast if we can. Um, big plans, big plans, okay. 
We just got to get to that stage, unfortunately. There we go. All right, done. All right, so now we got a, we got an up. All right, let's get down from here now. You can use use the new vines and stuff. They work perfectly too. Um, just so, yeah, you can put uh, bouncy. Whoa, geez, cutting it a little close there, Data. <laughs> All right, so we've got these. We won't we won't worry about the spawn pads yet. Don't stress, because I think people are like build the spawn pads. No, remember what we did last time. We built the spawn pads, and we didn't have anywhere for the mobs to go. Guess what happened to us? We ended up slipping off and dying multiple times. Well, my stunt double died multiple times. You know, so let's build the killing part first, shall we? So let's sneak off home. Make sure I've got another clean inventory so I can build some more, bring some more black stone out. Um, you could go ahead and, you know, take the ladders back if you want. Just leave like a stack of ladders here. Don't need the ladders. But there we go. And then just sort of make a torch, you know, sort of a light way here back to our portal. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy that we've chosen a new location. Um, it's just in render distance, so I could probably extend my render distance and take a screenshot of both farms in the frame once done. I think that's going to be cool too. So, let's take it back here. There we go. So, that's going to allow us... Yep, straight away, so when we sort of come out of the portal now... Oh, see what I mean? We change biome. You can tell immediately when you change biome. Do not build, um, any of the spawn pads in a biome like this. Because you would literally get nothing, probably, than magma cubes. <laughs> and you don't want that. You want the regular old old wasteland biome um, from the original nether. That's all you want. That's all you want, okay? All right, let's nick off down real quick. Now, let's talk about the thing. There's three versions we can build. Um, good old splat pad, which they just fall to their doom straight away when aggroing. That's, you know, pretty easy to build. Um, do, do you guys want to want to sort of be an XP farm as well? Early XP farm? Should we do that? Oh, I don't know. Just a splat pad seems really easy, but then, you know, adding a little bit of a challenge, turning it into an XP farm as well. Yeah, it's possible. Everything's possible. So maybe, okay, we'll go with the XP farm. So the XP farm version, um, what I'll do is probably stack a bunch of minecarts and make it um, to the limit. And so they instantly die when they walk into the minecarts. We get the XP, Bob Junkle. So there's no splat pad. They're not going very far. Um, we got an, We should. We should have enough iron to do that version. It's early on in the series. So yeah. Okay. Boom. There we go. Um, oh, that's the gold. That's the. All right. So we got iron here. Let's go ahead and bring a, quite a few stacks out because we'll be turning them into minecarts. Okay, there. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Let's make it at six, okay? Bob's your uncle. We've still got iron left over uh, for anything else. Well, we're going to need hoppers and stuff eventually. Um, actually, do we have any hoppers left? I thought we did have hoppers left. Or did we leave those in the nether? Ah, uh, flame and galah. They're probably in the nether. I thought we had hoppers left because we... Ah, there we go. Brilliant. And we got some... Look, we got some literally some warped in here as well. So that's completely fine. Um... All right, so let's build. So I'm going to be building it out of slabs, right? And black stone. So that's fine. Let's go bring four more stacks. No, five, six, seven, eight more stacks. Convert those quickly into polished. There we go. And turn them into brick. And there we go. All right, so it's plenty for the build part. And then turn, maybe get some slabs like that. Perfect. Okay, so we got the mine carts. Oh, oh, we need a we need a crafting table, don't we? Ah, oh, there's only four really. Crafting crafting table, brilliant. I can upgrade that too. Okay, so crafting table to craft that. We need a dispenser. Yes. All right. All right. So we need we what we need to do is a dispenser. Now, what? Are the, why a dispenser? Because we need to dispense the mine carts inside each other. So. The, the guy that was giving me crap the other day about not having a bow, I made a bow. I haven't used it yet, but guess what? I'm not going to use it for what that's gonna, what it's meant to be used for. I was going to use it to shoot things, but we could definitely go ahead and use that. Um, go ahead and use that for... Uh, yeah, go ahead go ahead and use that for... Whoop. I really hate those skeletons in the, gr in the, in, in the ground. They, they drive me up the wall. Um... 
I've got to find them, but not now. Not now, Data. Okay, so we need... Where are my stacks? Oh, there they are. Got a, one of those. Okay, so we can put together a dispenser now. That was... It's going to easily... See, a dispenser? That's going to easily allow us to shoot... Um, that's going to allow us to shoot minecarts into the same block. We're going to need a track too. I forgot about that. You need a, you literally need a track or else it just shoots the, shoots the what's it called out. I thought I might have picked one up in an abandoned mine shaft recently. It would be in one of these junk chests because I've got all my sort of chests and I've got some junk chests. I know I've got to go through and literally sort it all out eventually. <laughs> oh, struth. All right, let's grab some of those. At least we could turn them in there. Um, so come over here and what am I after? What am I? What am I doing again? I need tracks. Oh yeah, fruit. Yeah. Hang on a sec. Oh, we got a super chat. Who's it from? David. Thank you very much. Holy smokes, it's a pink one. V. It's oh, thanks, David. Much appreciated, mate. Much appreciated. Uh, thanks for sponsoring and supporting the channel. He says, uh, David says, getting ready for work here in California, USA. Just wanted to say g'day. Well, g'day, mate, and thank you for your generous uh, super chat there, mate. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. So grab some more sticks here. And um, uh, you made me lose my train of thought. What was I doing again? <laughs> tracks. That's right. Tracks. Tracks and um, uh, 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 and, I've, and I've even forgotten the recipe. You flame and fruit loop. Sticks. Yeah, I've, I've got sticks. Uh, I've got redstone. Iron got iron. Okay. Why is it not coming up? You need to make one for the really? Stick. What happened to that good old days? You just have it. You just click redstone. Click red what? Redstone. On the top. Oh, do you need the torch? No, 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 no. Click the redstone button. On the yeah, no. See, it doesn't come up like it used to. I need a lever anyway. Aww. See what I mean? It used to come up. Is that a bug? Or just there's an intentional change? Because, oh no, see, that there's an activator rail. But I don't need, oh, well, I could just make an activator rail, but whatever. I don't have no clue. Did they change the recipe? No. No, no, okay. Alright, okay, so anyway, Reactivator Rail will do just fine. You, I think you could dispense. Hang on, now I've got to find out. Flame and bloody galah. <sighs> yeah, I should have just put the recipe on myself. I'm stubborn, alright? Things, they can't change things on data. I got used to the the, the other version. Um, go ahead, grab one of those. Alright, I'm looking in the wrong tab. There you go. See, fail data already. Fail, fail, fail. Whoops. I need that. All right, just make sure this works. Yeah, perfect. That's all I wanted. All right, so we've got access to making a kill point now. We've got slabs, we've got iron, we've got dispenser, we've got tracks. Uh, we've got everything we need. So let's go ahead and head back up there now. Magma? Yes, V. Ven Venom's trying to remind me of everything that I, I've probably forgotten. <laughs> but I just want to build the kill station. I'm not putting the magma up yet. Um, I've always forgotten something, but just one thing at a time. I'm not building the, the, the spawn pads just yet, guys. Let's just, I'm probably just building one big spawn pad, to be honest with you. Um, let's just worry about the killing points, you know, the, yeah, I didn't do this last time. I did it backwards. I built the pads and then I had a problem and, uh, oh, it was just a whole, whole lot of mess. So I reckon build the killing point, then build the pads, then test it and go from there i think that's absolutely probably what we should be doing instead of um, apparently turtle eggs not yet mate not yet not no splat pad no 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 what's them call it yet so i think you could just have unangry at the side at all times have no clue it's been a while since i've touched on these sort of gold farms my last attempt at one of these aggro farms was like an upside down pyramid they all sort of climbed up and went through the middle. And then I had the elevator going down to get the XP. Does anyone remember that? I had a, a bouncy pad elevator going down to get all the XP. And then it would shoot me back up the top to keep the mag road. I don't, don't know. Yeah, it was a crazy, crazy farm. But you can do it so much easier nowadays. Um, so much easier. But let's go ahead. We'll go up and build the killing point. 
So wh what happens when you stack 23 minecart, uh, 23, 21 minecarts in one block? It it hits a point that no other entity, because minecarts count, my, mine carts count as an entity. So when you cram uh, 21, 23, I've forgotten the number now, our entities in one block, Minecraft decides, hey, that's too many. And then they will automatically kill that entity for you. Or they call it purging and they purge the whatever's in there. So, you know, the old fashioned having hundreds of mobs in one block to, you know, kill with a sword doesn't work anymore because you have to build a bigger area. You have to build each block, you know, is its own set amount. But apparently there's a setting you can adjust, but I do not play with vanilla settings. Vanilla. Once you play with a vanilla setting and adjust it, it's no longer vanilla. Like, that's it. Like, if I changed it to, um, to, to, to do that, then, well, that's not stock vanilla anymore. <coughs> so, um, let's go ahead. How to start this, actually? I don't even know. Probably the best thing, first things first, is try get, you know, those minecarts stacked. So, what we'll do is make a nice little platform here for us to work with. Um and just sort of build it up again like build it up make it nice and thick like that uh, a little bit more now the reason why i'm doing this because uh, minecarts have a tendency when stacking minecarts they have a tendency of exploding you know go Foo -wee, going in all di different directions so having a thick pad like we just did helps prevent this from happening so Minecarts also usually glitch into the left-hand side block, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know. I haven't. As it's been a while since I've done this, so we'll see what uh, Mojang has changed on me. So if I put that there, I've changed that direct track in that direction. When I put the twenty-something minecarts here and I jump in it, what's going to happen is it's going to glitch into the left, the block next to it, or whatever the rail's not on. Okay. Just thought I would put that out there. So originally, it's probably going to end up here. I'm not sure if they've changed that since I've done it uh, last, but there. So what you also probably want to do is take your hopper and put it in before your minecarts. Like, hey, you know, that's where obviously some, 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 what's it called? It has to be done. I, I, ah, I want to put the hopper facing straight down. <laughs> of course. Um, go down. What we'll do. Oh, I tried. Hang on, back up, back up, there we go. Alright, so what we'll do is put that down there, so the hopper can face straight down. Alright, so now fill this in, and literally put the crafting table down, now that we have it. And, um, uh, where's the crafting table? Crafting table, here. So now, to be honest, we need to get rid of a lot of this, but table, just do one at a time. So go ahead and make a bunch of minecarts, and just sort of fill that up so i think it takes three dispensers to hit the cat so let's do that and i like to use a switch instead of a lever because you can click it fast so see what i mean click it really really fast and get all those it's empty okay that's one already done perfect let's let's do again let's fill it up so second time fill it all up done all right same thing hold it down Yep, done. All right, last one. Actually, you don't need quite a full dispenser, but whatever. We'll we'll overdo it. You know, data always freaking overdoing. It. It's not quite a full dispenser, but it's just say three dispensers worth. There you go. If you if you got the iron to spare. Do, 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 do. It's only twenty one. It doesn't matter. There we go. Done and dusted. So grab anything that's floating. Got it. Got it. So now, if a pig would jump into this set of minecarts they would die but remember we've got to sort of push them into their designated area if i anything jumped into this the if you this block is not thick enough they're going to fly out so i'm not sure if they're going to fly out or not i'm really hoping the old fashioned going next door you know it worked last patch i'm not sure if it's going to work this patch let's do it yes it still works okay that's perfectly fine break that go ahead put a full block there get your get your, go ahead and get that back Get that back. Yep, pick all that up. Done. And then go ahead and break... Was it this one? Break that one. Bob's your uncle. Jump in. Ouch. See? See how that just did a lot of damage to me just then? Boom. Almost killed me. 
got to be careful. You can die. But see, those minecarts are not escaping out any. Yeah, you know, the minecarts are not escaping out any now. That's exactly what I was saying. Trust me, to probably do not remove any of the square blocks here. Just because I, I would be more worried that um, something bad's going to happen. Like, as I said, they're going to glitch out and fly out the corner. It looks funny. It looks really funny watching minecarts trying to fly out in the air and separate. Don't know if anyone's seen that, but that's, it's quite hilarious to watch. But yeah, don't stress about that too much. Now, we're going to sort of trim up the blocks now. We've got the area where we need to bring it. So I would bring this up. There we go. All right, done. So we're going to be standing... Whew, where are we going to be standing? So we're going to be standing roughly about... Oh, you know what? Hang on a sec, guys. I'm going to take my slabs. Forgot something. Break that. I'm going to take my slab and put a slab there. And then I'm going to stand here. Perfect. So when the piggies go down into there, um, they will die and the XP will come up underneath the half slab. Well, that's what I'm hoping anyway. Okay. I'm sort of... If, if things need to be adjusted when the farm's built, what we'll do is cut us off from the... Because we're going to have the pad out there, right? You'll probably find we're going to probably need a few pads. I don't know, a few pads tall. I don't know. I don't know how this farm's going to look. I'm just just guessing. But if we need to adjust any of this, it's not working as correctly, we'll just go ahead and remove some of the path, right? So they can't get to us at the end of the day. But right here is where you want them to come, you know, come at you. And I would probably try put... Um, no, because babies are going to fit through that, aren't they? Got to be really careful with these positions. So about there. And you could still shoot at a pig. So yeah, that's going to work perfectly. So I would build this up now. And I would enclose that like that. Alright, this is our entrance. So you would build this up now. There, oh, see, see that down there? That's where you're going to be standing. And now we sort of just come out like this so this is the this is the blocks they're going to come running in on and the only way to get to me the closest block there is there so yeah so you know they're going to fall down in there die we've got we've got freaking uh what's him called i think this is going to work please just hold your horses in building and maybe wait for me to do some test runs first because i have no flaming clue <laughs> i'm just using my minecraft knowledge and thinking ahead right now to build one of these farms all right, so now building a pad is quite easy. What what I would do, a suggestion, I would probably build this probably um, out of maybe slabs because you don't want anything spawning on the slabs between, do you? So between the pad and you, okay? Yeah. So what we can do is uh, take a um, uh, some half slabs here if you really want to. You could use full blocks if you want to. Um, place it down there what you want to do is count 23 well it's really it's 20 it's 24 blocks so minecraft mobs usually only spawn about 24 blocks away from the player so oh you got to count that i forgot to count that so technically a little, little less so you know uh, you standing there so one two and three is already started so so you need 21, right? Roughly about. It doesn't need to be exact. So just putting 21. Oh, again, I went too far. Flame and galah all over the place here. There's some 21. So, all right. So we're going to go 21 out now. Boom, 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 boom. Like right out. Holding shift, by the way, guys. Hoping not to slip. <laughs> all right. And that's about from that block onwards there so that's about 24 blocks and give or take one block because i probably always miscount i always do so that means that minecraft will can easily spawn the mobs because minecraft tries not to i've seen it and i think anyone here that's played enough minecraft has probably seen minecraft spawn a mob really close to you yes i've seen it happen myself I think, I think that's just a bug, or it's just it, it could happen at a very, very rare chance. Come on, we see mobs climb ladders and do all sorts of weird stuff they're not meant to do. Um, but anyway, but naturally, normally, the game's like, hey, the player's over there, um, let's spawn mob, mo a mob 24 blocks away. And that's literally all that would happen. 
So now the, the pad itself has got to be built up in here. Um, as I said, I'm not even sure how big it's got to be or anything. And then all we got to do is shoot the mob and hopefully they come running in here, fall down there, and Bob's your uncle, you know, uh, that's how it works. Well, in theory, that's how it works. So, but listen, I'm going to try to get off of here somehow. So let's just put some ladders in. Yeah, put some... I'm not jumping, Venom. Put some bloody ladders in here so we can go over. And you know what? Put ladders sort of so we can go over again. I don't think it would be... <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah, we can stand here. I think we can replace that one with a half slab too. I don't know, but we won't do that yet. Won't do that yet. So now we can sort of go down. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Let's get down as fast as we can. I'm so sorry about the extra long episode today. Uh, barely any jump cuts. Normally I try to jump cut as much as I can for the people that don't have, you know, an hour to watch an entire episode. So I do apologise to all those people tuning in and, uh, yeah, watching a very extra long episode of MDU today. Um, so what I'm going to do now is sort of just plump all these back. And see, we've actually didn't even use all that much iron, to be honest with you. Go ahead and grab, well, not track but go ahead and grab all that we're going to need more probably more magma than that um and we're going to what we're going to do is build a pad out here and hopefully we can get some sort of system set up and as i said i'm not even sure we're probably going to have to build i'm not sure if gas can spawn on the magma blocks because they're they're hot blocks i mean what i mean when they're hot blocks i mean only mobs that can resist the fire damage can spawn on them and says pig, 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 uh, zombie pigmen are, are resistant to fire, a lava, they're resistant to the magma blocks. They can spawn on it, that means. So I'm not sure about the gasp. It's a learning curve for me. You know, that's what I said. I love to find this sort of stuff out myself. Obviously, tips and stuff, and they're much appreciated. Um, but yeah, I love to sort of just jump in, find out, do, do this myself, and see, see how it's all going to work, really. I've built this cool little killing thing, so... Let's go ahead and build a little... Like what we'll do is quickly jump on a jump cut now. Okay, so I can get this pad installed. Probably just going to build like a, a 10 wide, maybe 40 long. Like a like a wide pad, probably. Um, I'm not sure if we'll go 3 or 4 tall. Um, we could probably put a... No, because that's not going to work. Like a pad over there, pad over there, pad over the back. I don't know. Just more, more spawning? I don't know. That's totally... Totally, totally something I'll take tips on. Should we put more spawning pads in? I have no flaming ID. So let's go ahead, put that in. Boom. Okay, so I'll be back soon when I've uh, successfully built this pad. Alrighty, guys, I am back. And I've done about a 15 long, well, 30, 30, 31 long, to be honest with you, like complete pad. I'm not sure how many pads to build or how big. I was asking uh, the community, so yeah, so guys, some tips of how big the pad should actually be, or pads uh, should be, and the killing machine looks to be ready to receive, so I've got myself a bow, I had to run home, make another bow, got the extra arrows that I could find, so we could tick a pig man off, it's a very dangerous thing to do, but first things first, let's go ahead and stick in a, um, let's stick in a, just a collection chest, if it works, it works, if it doesn't work, We'll put in a uh, uh, put in something thinner, uh, but we'll, we'll one thing at a time. It can only be one block, uh, one of these actually, because it's got to open. Boom, boom. Okay, all right. We got a good test area. We do. Let's get a torch up here. All right. So we're just gonna really just shoot one and then just sit in here. I'm hoping that it's gonna tick it off enough. I'm gonna put a, another one in there so they just can't get to me. And yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that it's gonna work. But here we go, here we go. Let's see if this works. A little bit nervous. Because you don't normally meant to shoot at a pig. <laughs> oh, take aim. All right, I'm sitting in my little, little thing. Here they come, are they angry? No, oh no, they're angry. Oh, they're angry. Hey, hey, how's it going? It's working? I'm getting XP? It's working! And I was getting XP! Brilliant! Yeah! I don't need it. I thought I was going to put a trapdoor there, but to be honest, I don't really need trapdoor. It's a small pad, so there's not many, very many spawns on there, but there we go. How good is that? I got XP and everything. She works! 
little prototype works perfectly and look what we got a gold ingot some nuggets a sword and rotten flesh like normal holy smokes we are on to something guys all right so yeah just tick, keep ticking them off if you want to um so you just stand here uh, let's try that half slab first oh, i don't have any slabs on me um i don't even have the crafty table on me ah i'm gonna remove the full block at the end and put a slab there and see if that sort of fixes the issue of them seeing me but we'll see but woohoo guys prototype working well it needs to be a lot larger oh there's xp on the ground oh they fell off ah oh, they're pushing each other off the sides that's probably not a good thing all right grab some slabs here climb back the ladder ah, ladders vines doesn't matter what it's all the same speed at the end of the day to be honest good old-fashioned minecart elevator you just hold right kick brrr, ding. oh brilliant or you can do a, a piston one or yeah, there's multiple multiple ones but to be honest the pad needs to be way bigger so there's much more spawns we need probably one to maintain the aggro so yeah just one little bits at a time guys one thing at a time. i did not know this was going to even work i definitely did not know this is even going to work so at the end of the day i think we've done uh, pretty damn well with just this little prototype version we got but let's get on the other side here they are all spawning and despawning what i'm going to do really quickly is take this out replace it with a half slab they still can't get out of there i think once they fall in or can they i don't know we'll trial it so up we go trialing the half slab instead of the full block see and i can see now too so i take aim fire they're ticked off. They push each other off. Oh, hello. Uh oh, he's definitely. Oh, XP. <laughs> Sorry about the noise, guys. I really apologise. Oh, they stopped. Why have you stopped? He was stuck. Do the does it need to be wider pads? Well, it works, and they're, they're not spewing out everywhere. We've got 25 levels. Okay. All right. Interesting. So, maybe, because for some reason, they, there was two of them jammed here trying to get in and to fall over. So, how do we fix that? Just more testing at the end of the day. Um, maybe what we'll try is put, like, a little bit of a, if, like, a bit of a thing like that. So, the half forced into a single line. I, I don't know. All right, we'll, we'll try all sorts of things. So get rid of that. Jump up there. Uh, jump down. It's all going to be trial and error, guys. It's going to be trial and error. All right, <laughs> take aim. This is actually quite fun. Uh, take aim. Fire. <laughs> There's lots of pigmen, but I still missed. Wow. Wow, you'd be so screwed. But they're all falling off. How do you get them to stop falling off? Hello, you lot. Thank you for the XP. Sorry about the noise, guys. Oh, look at that. It's working like a charm. I've got such a small pad, too. See, they mean they're stuck. They just can't get in. Look. Or maybe they're not aggro. Oh. That was a lot of them. I'm always level 28. Thank you. All right, excellent. Let's get, let's go down. Down we go. Yeah, we're gonna definitely add more spawning pads to this. Two gold bars. Oh, guys, we could just feed the gold bars directly into a bartering system. How good would that be? And then keep the nuggets. Oh, that would be brilliant. To be honest, the rotten flesh is useless, but still. Yeah. Oh no, the rotten flesh is good for village of trade venoms, right? But literally, just send the gold straight off to be bartered. Yeah, like, seriously. Seriously, good stuff. Okay, bigger path. We're getting told bigger paths. Let's just, let's just, we'll call it for now. I'm so sorry for running over time tonight. I do apologize to the people that are watching the short version. This is not, wasn't a short episode. I'm having too much fun designing and building this nice new farm here. But, oh, jeez. Uh, maybe a bar, like, a, like get, 
like take that gold that we're making directly feed it into the a bartering system and that means it oh all oh, automatic i didn't think that was gonna spawn okay good to know Whew. holy smokes good to know that they spawn on the the magma blocks too <laughs> so we got to put a uh, like a halfy like a one of the you put lines in it and she'll stop spawning i'm pretty sure all right guys thanks for watching episode 15 here of minecraft down under don't forget if you are enjoying the content make sure you smash those buttons please recommendations for the how big are these spawn pads have to be uh, how many to go up um, what do you think how to stop them all falling off the the edge you know um that's that's a definitely a problem like we're losing 20 percent to just fall damage alone right now so uh, the killing mechanism seems to work the hopper seems to work just fine all right guys thanks for watching i'll catch us all later Thank you.